I promise this will be the last one today, but I just needed to also talk about Kong Skull Island, another Warner Brothers movie that just had a trailer released at Comic Con. When it comes to this one, I actually have mixed feelings on it. On one hand, I like the look of the cast, Toby Kebbell, Tom Hiddleston, John Goodman, Samuel L. Jackson, Brie Larson, these are all great actors. But considering that it comes from the producers of Godzilla, maybe I should tell you guys that I hope this movie doesn't make the same mistakes as Godzilla. Even though I thought Godzilla, the 2014 movie, was a good movie as a whole, it had some serious flaws in that it spent way too much time with a very boring protagonist and it had very limited screen time for, well, freaking Godzilla. Yeah, for a guy who was in the title for the whole movie, he's barely in it. And hopefully Kong is given more screen time than Godzilla was in his, you know, American remake movie. And given that this one is an origin story for King Kong, I'm also on the fence about that, because giving previously mysterious characters origin stories has had terrible results. Like X-Men Origins Wolverine, that one really sucked because it took out a lot of the mystique of his character, and it really wasn't a good movie in general at all. Or if you want a more modern example, how about The Legend of Tarzan, which was also released by Warner Brothers. That movie freaking sucked. And even though that one wasn't really an origin story, it was more an alternate tale of Tarzan, it still didn't help matters when it came to the storytelling and the fact that it was too dark, too dreary, and honestly not very exciting. Now don't get me wrong, this trailer ha looks a lot better than The Legend of Tarzan ever looked. I mean, not only are the actors much better choices for these roles, even though we practically know some of them are going to just be secondary to Kong, if, if Kong is going to be the leading, the leading ape. Like I said, but like, like, like I said they've got good roles, and having Samuel L. Jackson in freaking anything will make it better. Heck, even, as much as I don't like Legend of Tarzan, Samuel L. Jackson made that movie better, and I'm sure he'll do the same for Kong Skull Island. I'm just saying, with a movie as iconic as the original 1933 King Kong, you've got to try your hardest to even get up to the same level to be even adequate in comparison. And the only Kong movie I can think of that even got close, even close, to reaching the 1933 version was the Peter Jackson 2005 movie. And even though that movie got close, the 1933 movie reigned supreme. So. For Warner Brothers to make an origin story movie 12 years after the last King Kong movie, it's making me wonder, can they make a successful origin story? Can they make a, just a good movie in general? And will Kong get good screen time? We're going to have to wait until this movie comes out in March 2017. See you later. This Comic Con has been full of surprises. <laughs>